Hey, what's up guys, Madar Truga Development. This is a review video, and in this one, I'm reviewing uh, my handy dandy oscillating tool, AKA multifunction tool. This one is a Chicago electric one that I got from Harbor Freight. You can still get the Chicago electric, uh, eBay, I think Timu has it, a couple other uh, sites. You cannot get it at Harbor Freight. This is where I got mine from, but now they have the Warrior. Even though I'm going to be reviewing this, the Warrior is probably gonna be just exactly the same. As a DIYer and or somebody who is in light construction work as well, you have to have a multi-function tool. You can cut notches uh, with these. I use this a lot to cut out holes in plywood. If I'm installing an electric box or an outlet or whatever, even drywall, although there's a lot of dust that comes with the drywall, but uh, in a pinch, you can use it that way. This is what matters the most are your uh, blades. And I actually got these off of Amazon. I got a bunch of them. Uh, they come in different sizes, finer the tooth. Uh, that's where you can cut stuff like PVC pipe, thin gauge metal, longer uh, teeth will enable you to cut through wood. To change the blades, it's very simple. It comes with this hex key, and all you're doing here is just putting that in and doing that. And this is what this looks like. Okay, there's a lock washer, well, a washer, and then this screw. This here has four teeth and that's where the blade kind of sits in there. So to change the blade, you don't have to take the screw all the way out, you just loosen it. Now this is moving, and you can take this out and put the new one in. When you put the blade in, make sure it sits in those teeth that I showed you, and then you go ahead and tighten this. One thing I do want to warn you is the hex key that came with this, which probably be the same case with the Warrior, the metal was cheaply made and it's stripped. So a couple of times the blade came loose. Now don't panic, just get a better hex key so you can really get a good tightening on the screw. On off button. You got the adjustment wheel in the back up to, this goes up to six, I think. Yep, six speed. Now, what I like about this, extremely useful, very cheap. In fact, I think you can get the Warrior for 18 bucks right now on Harbor Freight. So it's, it's a no brainer, you must have it. I like that the blades are universal, so you can use any blades. I like that it has the power adjustment. What I do not like is the weight. Uh, this is a little bit heavier than I'd like. Now you might think that that's not a big deal, but if you're in tight spaces and you're trying to hold this thing up for a while, it will get tasking. Plus, remember, this will be vibrating quite a bit. Uh, this is why they're on the cheaper side because their motor is loud and they vibrate quite a bit. So keep that in mind. Did it stop me from using it for all these years? No. The other thing that is negative for me is the loudness and the vibration. Um, so it goes hand in hand. It's an electric tool, so you are going to have a lot of oomph. Uh, this is a two amp, uh, and in fact, they actually have a three amp oscillating tool, so that one is gonna be even more, uh, lou even louder and, and probably vibrate more. But that's what you get with uh, the cheaper corded or the less expensive corded tools. I'm gonna to turn it on and you can kind of judge for yourself. So that's pretty loud. That is the only negative that I have with this tool. It's the weight, the vibration, and how loud it gets. Sometimes I'm inside a cabinet in a kitchen, small space, and you can imagine the echoing from this, uh, from this, from the noise that this makes. I would suggest using earplugs, maybe in tight spots. But other than that, I can't tell you how many times I've used this tool and it came in handy. Cutting PVC pipes, wired shelving, obviously wood, 
They do say this cuts up to two and a quarter inch deep. I've never really used it for like two by fours or whatnot, but I have notched all kinds of wood with it and it worked just fine. This also comes very, very handy when you're doing flooring. If you wanna cut out a little bit of that casing uh, around a door just to get your floor underneath there, this is the tool that you want. And there you have it guys. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you might want to check this one out here. And if you want to see other reviews, you can go ahead and click this video here. Any questions, throw them in the comments. And if you haven't subbed the channel yet, please do so. It's the only way to support it. Thank you. I'll see you on the next one.